that's a great question because that that yeah, yeah, I I think it's it's a it's a very long story and I, I we only have a few minutes so I'll make it very very fast and very simple. Uh, during World War II, uh, my uncle, who I was very very close to, uh, was in the army and actually he was in that first group uh, that were drafted in 1940 when Roosevelt signed the uh, signed the law which began conscription. Um, and I was only 10 years old at the time when he was in Europe. He had gone through the, uh, the invasion in North Africa, Sicily, and uh, mainland Italy, and uh, following Normandy. Now, the only reason he's probably one of the few in the army that survived all that is because he was in the engineers. So he wasn't landing in those, which is where most of the injuries and deaths occur, that those first waves. Uh, and it was just such a wonderful experience for me as I would write to him and ask him. He couldn't tell me where he was, but we got to figure it out. And we got little notes that kind of gave it away. Uh, and so I became very interested in the military obviously during World War II. Uh, and then when uh, Korea came around, uh, uh, I was ready to enlist in the Marine Corps. And my uh, my parents said, no, you're going to college. You, you can you can serve after you graduate college, and which was a, a wonderful idea. And uh, I did. I served four years in the Marine Corps and loved every minute of it. And I uh, just felt that the respect I had for the Korea people. I mean, I met so many amazing, amazing people. Most people are not aware that when the Korean War broke out, there were over 230,000 in our military that had served in World War II. So there they go and they add a second, a second war. I was privileged to serve for a few of those guys, both in, uh, enlisted and officers. Uh, one of the, one of them was a uh, a survivor of the Bataan Death March, so that was all my inspiration, so to speak. And I uh, right after I got in the Marine Corps, uh, I got kind of st stuck on Marine Corps history, and I started reading about the Marine Corps through all its years. And that was that was circa 1957 to about 1960, 65. And then I started reading about the other services, Navy, Army, Air Force. Um, and then uh, I became interested in individuals that were written about who had done extraordinary things uh in the service and it was just unbelievable and world war one and sergeant york was was a favorite of mine and and the real story was far better than the movie i can tell you that uh it was uh, it was just a, a a way of of just getting a sense of what the the, the depth of the sacrifice was of those who serve. So you've been with us eight years. When you came aboard, I think that was when we started doing the, the, the first of the veterans uh, series. Uh, I, yeah, you uh, you encouraged me to do that. And I thought it was great because, uh, you know, I like to write about books that I read and then you ended up making it a series and the rest, as they say, is history. So that's kind of my story about, about veterans. The only thing I'd like to add is that just know that the United States military is made up of 1% of our entire population. And the things that they do for us are incredible. I think if they would read the veteran story that 
I believe it's being published now, Scott, uh, the one we just did. Um, uh, a man who served almost 32 years in the military with five deployments in the Middle East. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. 